double L known in linguistic terms as the voiceless alveolar lateral fricative. It's essentially a sound made by pushing air through a special shape made by the tip of your tongue between where the top of the teeth and the palate of the mouth uh, meet. For non-Welsh speakers, uh, a lot of them pronounce it as cl or thl. Um, but if we're going to pronounce it correctly, it's much easier to say as part of a word rather than a single sound. It's why in the alphabet we pronounce it as s rather than just the sh sound on its own. It's not unique to Welsh. Um, it appears in Icelandic and Sasutu, uh, which is the language of uh, Lesutu. A couple of others as well. Now up to early modern Welsh, it was written as LH, and it's still written as HL in Sasutu, like in the place named Sotse. Now to master its pronunciation, you shape the mouth and tongue as if you're going to say a L, and add a light breath uh, as if you're saying H down the side of the tongue. Don't overdo it. Uh, the breath you need is literally only as if you'd naturally say a H sound. So if you really want to master it, um, make that L shape with your mouth, L, don't say L, um, just blow down the sides as if you're saying a H sound, it's literally just a breath, and that's how you do it. If you really want to master it, words like kases, which means a knife, kases, uh, what's another one, uh, which is another way of saying others or other ones, seis, and then one that I really struggle to say is a place just outside Bala called Llanuchlin, and it's got that ch sound and the sh right next to it. Llan uch llin, llan uch llin. And actually people round there, not all of them, but a lot of them will just say llan uch llin, just to make it a little bit easier. But there's the esh sound in Welsh. Shape of a l and a h down the sides. Esh. Enjoy.